What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you a really easy way that you can turn certain RGB keyboards into an audio equalizer. Now if you have a Logitech keyboard, there's a chance it can already do that through the Logitech software, but I can definitely tell you Corsair cannot do that. So let's go ahead and let's get right to it. So in the description of this video, I'm going to need you to click on the link to the forums for Corsair. Make sure you read the majority of what this thing says, but I'm just going to give you the gist of it, or at least the technical side to it. You're going to need to make sure you have .NET Framework 4.6.1 or newer, and you're also going to need Q with enabled SDK to run this. Q is for Logitech keyboards. You can go through, you can download it. Download the zip file. Since this is a zip file, that means we are not going to be installing it. It's pretty much just going to be extracting it from that file. So, go ahead, drag and drop it. Open it up, and then boom, got it right there. All right, now let me show you how you can enable SDK in the Corsair software. So let's right click it, bring to foreground, Go to settings then as long as you actually have the little square filled in here that means the SDK has been enabled and it should work now let's go ahead and let's move on to the next part okay so now just double click this go down here right click that go to open configuration click settings make sure it's finding your keyboard because if it's not finding your keyboard there's a chance it's not gonna be working Obviously, you can also do this with a mouse headset, a light bar mouse pad, but I don't have anything that's capable of doing that, so we're just not going to be touching it. We're going to be working with the keyboard. Now, if you click keyboard, you're going to notice you're able to change your colors and stuff like that. You click visualization, and let's see, choose between frequency bars, level, and beat. Beat doesn't work too well, so I'm just going to be working with frequency bars and level. So now, let's go ahead. Let's enable a camera, and I'm going to show you just what exactly we can do with this. Let's play some Glitch City. So just from the get-go, you'll notice it's actually moving along to the music, stuff like that, but it really doesn't take up much on the keyboard. So if you enable the equalizer, and then you just sort of lift this up, it starts to do more. Now we can change the visualization of this also. Go to level, it does that. Which is pretty cool. I like that, and I also like the frequency bars. And then also you can change around this stuff by messing with that. There are just some settings you're probably going to need to change to make it where you like it the most. See, and when you do it to beat, it doesn't always work. It seems like it works, but sometimes it seems like it skips a beat. Eh, it actually seems like it's sort of working right now. But yeah, see right there, it skipped a beat. And then, yeah, just in the frequency bars, there's a bunch of different stuff that you can mess around with. So this will actually make it to where you have more bars versus less bars. I normally just keep it like that though. You can change the minimum and the maximum frequency for when those are actually going up. Reference smoothing, emphasis, all of that fun stuff. But yeah, this is really it. It's not too hard to do this, and it just works pretty much right out of the box. I was insanely, insanely impressed when it actually just worked. I was expecting this to be sort of hard. I was like, well, this is sort of going to be ridiculous, but it actually wasn't ridiculous, and I was extremely, extremely happy to see that. If you have any questions, if you have any issues with this anything at all please just let me know i'll do my best that i can help but obviously there is the corsair thread i'm sure someone on there can help you too i hope you have a great day happy gaming